So I'm going to show you how to take your drum sounds from moving like this to sounding like this. All right, so here's our drum track, really basic, and this is how it sounds. Just a simple kick, a rim shot, and um, hi-hat running through. Now, one of the first things you can do to make your drum sound even more interesting is using layers. And right here, we have a layer for our hi-hats and a layer for our rim shots. And I'm just simply going to dump this right here on every instance where the rim shot comes. And we're listening. And you can adjust the volume of your layer depending on the tone or the texture you're trying to get. When, it, when I turn it off, when I turn it on, and then for the hi hats, I can just have this here. I can just have that there, right? Layered with the hi hats. So the second thing you can do to make your drums also more interesting is by using weird sounds or using sound effects. For example, this is a camera flicker sound, right? So I'm going to have this um, somewhere in my drum track. Let's say I have it here, for example. Let's say I sounds. Oh, let's have it here. And I can turn down the volume. Now it's already sounding more interesting, right? So if you've been struggling with getting pro mixes, making better beats, recording vocals, I do offer one-on-one -on -one training. Yes, one-on-one -on -one training. And all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says one-on-one -on -one training. You feel a very simple form so I can help understand you better and what you need and how I can help you get there. So when you fill this form, I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible and we can get started on your journey to making much better music in no time. Trust me, it doesn't have to be a house. So making music doesn't have to be a house. You don't have to spend many, many, many endless hours on YouTube looking for tutorials. With just a very short time, within about four to six weeks, roughly within that range, I can get you to your goals in no time. Yes, with money back guarantee. So don't forget to click the link in the description after you're done with this video to fill up a form, and I'm going to get back to you pronto. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. So the third thing you can do to spice up your drums is using percussions. So you can have percussions here. So we're going to use, we're going to record this via MIDI, just a simple sound like this. Just that, that's, that's all we need. So we're going to record that. So let's play back and listen. I think it's a bit behind, it's not on time. Let's try this. Perfect. So now we already have our percussions to make our drum sound even more interesting. So tip number four for making your drum sound even more interesting is using loops. That is using percussion loops, using hi-hat loops. Just using loops can spice up your drum tracks. This is a hi-hat loop from Unison. So I could just dump my drum track right here, right? extend this a little bit, then layer it with, it could be a percussion loop, it could be a hi-hat loop, just, or it could even be a, a drum track loop, but a loop that just complements your, your drum pattern, right? So let's hear how it sounds. Come to song mode and listen. Let's turn down the volume a little bit. And the last but not the least tip is pitch shifting. Pitch shifting simply means taking one note or taking a sound, moving in different semitones in your drum tracks, right? So for example, we could pitch shift our hi-hat loop, right? Just come right here, maybe make it deeper. And we can come to our hi-hat right here, right? Come to piano roll, and we'll come to this drop down right here and change it from note velocity, right, to fine pitch. So now we can 
do some modification to the pitch and see how it sounds. Let's see how it sounds. So you may not need to do all of them all the way, just the variations make it interesting. And then when I lay it now with the um, whole sequence, this size sounds. So if you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like so other people that need this video can easily find it right here on YouTube and subscribe for more tutorials like this. I'm Sir Classy once again. This is SC Toots. Cheers.